That's the game. That's how they beat us. They played harder than us, smarter than us, stronger than us, more physical than us. Watch. What's up, YouTube? It's another gray and rainy day in Nancy. Welcome to the vlog. Today is going to be a very interesting game. We play against one of the better teams in the league, in my opinion. I think one of the more complete teams outside of Monaco, which we beat at home, which is, you know, still interesting. But I think they're one of the most complete teams that has great players, that has good systems. Seem like they have good chemistry. They play about 10 guys, so we can't really focus on just five or six. All 10 guys can play. So we got a big road game on the road against Lee Portel. But it'll really be good for us if we can protect home court and get us a W tonight. So it's a rainy day, dark day, gray day. Play at 4.30. Y'all know I hate these games at 4.30. I, I really do not like them. I hate them with a passion. The 4.30 games, the 9 o'clock games, they suck. I prefer the 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock games, or even the 6 o'clock game is cool too, but 4.30 and 9 o'clock, bro, that's terrible. Um, yeah, man, feeling good today. Back is a little bit tight. My knee's a little bit tight. I think that'll be okay once I get warmed up though. I'm gonna do a lot of mobility stuff today. To make sure I'm I'm loose and ready to go. Cause as I said, most of the time I have to get in the mood to play these games. I always have a slow start on these 4.30 in the afternoon games. So trying to find a way to get fired up, man. Got a little time before I eat lunch. So I wanna show you guys, I turned my second bedroom into like a studio it's kind of messy right now but this thing has come a long way so you see i come in i got a light right here got a light over here i use the beds as sound panels the the bottom of the bed the box springs i use it as sound panels over the windows so if you look closely there's a window back here you can't see it because the box spring is over it and it's helping with that sound I bought this rug to help with the sound on the floor. Got my new camera, Canon EOS R6 Mark II. Microphone, got a new light. I used the mattress as another sound panel for this wall. I put my bags in the corner to help with the corner bass traps. So we getting creative, man. I had a little time, so I came up, made a beat. And I'm basically making lo-fi beats for these vlogs. So all of the beats I've made in the last two months are like lo-fi beats. And most of the beats that you hear on these vlogs are beats that I made. So that's what I'm about to do right now. And I'm gonna let you guys in on the creation process. So check this out. I'm not sure how the audio is gonna sound. I'm gonna put it through the speakers and hopefully it catches it good, but I'm not sure. It's my first time doing this with the new pocket. So I came over, I found this sample right here. I'm gonna just play this sample that I heard. I was like, oh my God, I can start something with that. That's how I get started. Saxophone. Put some effects on it. Give it that lo-fi distorted sound. Oh my God. Then I ended up chopping it up. I chopped it up, put a drum loop on it, and boom. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Here's the project. Yeah, yeah. It's the project right here.
I just looped it like that. Take it to the next level. One octave up. Hey. Yeah, yeah. That old school hip hop feel, man. With my Kanye. <laughs> yeah. So that's the beat I just came up with. I'm not sure if you guys gonna hear it on this vlog or you might hear it on the next vlog, but I just came up with that beat. I'm gonna keep working on it a little bit before I go in and uh, eat some food that Yaya's preparing. And then after that, probably take me a little nap just to get that extra little boost. Shit, it's almost game time. But I'm really happy with this beat, how this beat came out. I never really sampled that much, but I'm starting to get into it since I'm making these lo-fi beats. It's becoming a thing for me. Hey, just woke up from a crazy nap. Still gray outside, if you can see. Uh, it's all good, though, man. Had me a good meal. Meal was really good. Nap was really good. After I watched some film, I'm studying Shy Gilgis Alexander right now because I'm about to break him down on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. Besides that, man, it's game time, man. I ain't really got too much to say. I'm focused. I'm locked in. We got to pull this upset. Make it happen, man. Time to make him pay. Yo, so here we go. Big game against Bogan Brest. They're one of the best teams in the league, man. One of my favorite teams to watch. Here we go, getting warmed up. I still got the length from the the Christmas uh, thing on my head. Getting ready to go, man. So here I am, guarding the potential number three pick, top three pick. I can't pronounce his name, Russia, something like that. But try to ice on me, I ain't going. Big rebound, I'm out in transition. So this is how my night started for me, man. They switch, I'm wide open. Wide open dunk, Grand Hill drink Sprite. <laughs> I got hung at the rim, man. <laughs> Tough night for me, man. Especially the start of the game. We out in transition, I'm jogging. Clem find me for the trailing three, knock down. I'm gonna knock that down a lot. Right side, trailing three, that's one of my best shots. This started the frustration for me the other night. This guy kind of flopped, man. He knocked down a three. You know, I was aggressive, but that was a flop. And it started my frustration. You're going to see me going off on the ref. I'm like, bro, that's a damn flop. He wasn't going for it. He said maybe he missed the call. Whatever. But I was pissed. That started the frustration for me. And then it got real bad. Anto knocked down the three ball. We needed that. They came back, so we needed a big three. Anto's been big for us all year long. Boom. Big steal before the end of the quarter. Found Caleb in a transition. That was big to end the quarter, man. Second quarter, still trying to get going. We, we still don't have Frank, so somebody got to create. Here I am playing the top of the key, dribbling a lot. I felt it was a mismatch, got the foul, went to the free throw line, knocked down two. Second quarter, they got busy with us though, man. This was the play that started killing us all game. This inverted screen right here to this big man, and he was killing us. They was just killing us with this play. In the third quarter, you're gonna see they ran this play every possession. Here I am, pick and pop. Got Bryce Brown on me. Trying to see what he's going to do. Spunt him, went around, he's reaching. I went up for the layup. They didn't call a foul. Remember I told you about that frustration? I'm really, I'm really frustrated now. I'm pissed. I'm cursing out the referees. I walked straight from off that court, straight to the, straight to the back. I didn't even sit on the bench. Check me, I just went straight to the back. I needed a second to cool off, man. I was pissed. Here we go, we got Anto. Dean him up. 
That's a bad help. That guy got going. Salah, he came out and he was cooking. And this was the play before that. He hit that three on Clem, but then he hit this three right before this. Ball side help. I don't know why Bruno's helping. <laughs> three ball. Knocked it down, man. Big shots. They got it going in the second quarter, man. They really got after it in the second quarter. They tried to play mismatch with Siobhan. Boom. Offensive rebound. Three ball. They got everything. They did everything better than us. Here's an offensive rebound. I can't pronounce his name, but he knocked down the three ball. And that's amazing for him. You know, especially if he want to go to the NBA and be effective, he's going to have to knock down that three ball shot. And he knocked down damn near every shot he was open. Every corner three, every every three that he was open, I think he knocked down that night, last night. But they're just playing harder than us, man. Go again. He in transition. Bad shot. So contested shot from us. This is a contested shot, right? Low, low, low percentage shot. They pushing it. Pass, pass, shot. That's why he's going to be a top three pick. He do that consistently. He's tough because he's tall. He's long. He can dribble. He can shoot. He can move. Yeah, he he's going to be a top three pick. When we turn it over, they're right back at it again. Layup. <laughs> this is all back to back. They started beating the shit out of us. This is all back to back. And all their buckets are very easy buckets. It's no creativity. It's just moving the ball. When we come down, next play, pass, nothing. Pass, nothing. Nothing. No screen. Anto going to get an and one here, but like, that's a tough shot, bro. Look at their buckets and look at our buckets. It's a big difference. I'm back in the game. Give Siobhan a feed. He gets stuck. There's no time on the shot clock, so I go try to bail him out, catch it. Get a fadeaway, pull up in the corner, air ball. Low percentage shot, man. Running against the shot clock, and look what happens. Low percentage shot, layup. That's what happens with low percentage shots. They're running, and we're walking. Look how we are. Look at us. Look at us getting back across the court. It's a big difference. <laughs> Contested three. Boom. Now they out. <laughs> That, that's what the case of the game. Us working hard. They're working easy. Look, easy post up. I'm bullshitting. One, two dribble, three dribbles, four dribbles. Hook shot. Bro, <laughs> this is terrible. Second quarter, once again. This is how we end the second quarter. Same thing at LaPortel. Going into the half. Turnover. What that lead to? Layup. Matter of fact, and one. Just can't do that. Not in high-level basketball, bro. We can't have those plays. That's two games in a row that we're giving up a big bucket at the end of the half. Going to third quarter, Isaiah Mike trying to ice on me. I blocked it. Seen it in film. Seen he shot that shot all week. So I kind of anticipated it. Got the block. He caught the rebound. Shot it again. They caught the rebound. Big man got an easy layup. This wasn't our night, bro. It was not our night. Caleb going to set a down screen for me on this play right here. It's kind of a broken play. But the young kid came close out on me. I seen I had that advantage. Took him to the middle. Two dribbles pull up. I wasn't comfortable with the shot, but I was comfortable with my release. Felt good. Knocked down the shot. Two points for me. Watch this, though. Watch this possession. Nothing. No screen. Contested three. Miss. And look at him. They're out. This is the game. We missing, they're out. Layup, dunk. Our man hit the ground, we get back slow in transition, nobody's helping. That's the game. That was the game. Here we go. Pass, nothing. And the post entry, block shot, they're out. Just look at them running transition. I had to take this man out in transition. Felt kind of bad, I was like, oh shit, this is the future. I quickly helped him up. You know, I got I love the way this kid play. So we started switching a little bit. Here I am, got Mike. Switch with Siobhan. This is a bad matchup for Siobhan. Isaiah Mike is extremely quick and he just go right by him for a dunk. No help, no nothing, no fouls, no nothing. We just gave up a dunk. 
We just can't do those type of things. We can't do that. We can't afford it. We're not good enough. I'm swinging the ball. Nothing. Look at our offense. Leads to this miss. Leads to a contested throw up. That miss. And they out. And they're out. Look at them run the court, bro. Look at them run the court. Three ball. <laughs> That's the game. Contested shots, not getting back in defense. That's the game. That's how they beat us. They played harder than us, smarter than us, stronger than us, more physical than us. Watch. Look at our offense. Nothing by me dribbling. Jordan, he gets the ball, doing more dribbling. They switch, dribble, has he pull up, contested three, brick. Like it's hard to it's hard to play basketball like that. Nothing against Jordan or that shot, but well, you know. It's tough. And here I come now and I get a foul. So here we go. We're chasing them. We got the one second shot clock. Look at that foul. You see that foul that Julian just did? We was going to have an advantage because they took a bad shot finally. A contested shot. The shot clock was going now. We contested the shot. We got the ball We got the ball out. was going in transition. And they gave a quick foul. That's something we got we to gotta learn. We don't do that. Here we go. Look at Brown. He's working. He's up. They're being aggressive. Hand off. No screen. Kick to me. I drive. And I drive right into my big man. Right? Like, I'm like, okay, somebody got to get into this lane. We're not getting in the lane. We're just passing, passing. Nobody's getting into the lane. I drive. And I drive right into my big man. But that's chemistry. Like, in that situation, I, he got to see that I'm driving and got to kind of get out of the way, you know? So what happens is when you don't have that type of chemistry, you just run right into each other. And basically, the big man from Borg was able to defend two people at one time. And I had to kick it out to my point guard for a contested three that he missed. So they started running that play. I was telling you about that inverted pick. Boom, it goes, I have to help, otherwise it's a dunk. Then I try to close out to Julian. He wide open for three. He's a great shooter. I played with Axel in Toulon. So I knew him really well. You know, he was my teammate. And he go knock down that open three all the time. So we go to like a zone. Trying to switch it up a little bit. And this happens. Pass. Drive. No communication. Dunk. <laughs> There's nothing we could do, man. They moved the ball. Everybody did their part. You can tell they know their role. A team that knows their role in Europe, especially in France, is very dangerous. Pass. Pass. I, wait, I got caught sleeping because I thought he was going to dunk it again. I'm like, it's over, you know? And boom, the best three-point shooter on the team is wide open in the corner, and it's my responsibility. But that's our night. So now we're entering the fourth quarter. Let's see how we come out. Are we going to fight? Are we going to compete? Let's see what we do. First possession. Pick. Steal. Layup. <laughs> they was playing with us, man. We were looking like kids out there. Bruno in the post. I get the ball up top. See like a mismatch. Okay. I'll try to drive, get in the paint. Same foot layup. Miss. I just didn't have it, man. I didn't I didn't have no feeling. I didn't have no rhythm. That was my first time getting a real touch in a couple of in a long time. So I guess it was kind of forced at the same time too. Just me trying to be involved in the game. And I did something I'm very uncomfortable with doing. I could have got that pull up, but I just wanted to be aggressive. Here I am in a post. Quick post up. Quick little move. Felt like I had him leaning. Ball went kind of in and out. I'm pissed, man. Work on that shot all the time. So here I, I get a steal. Pass it to Clem. Clem passed the ball out of bounds. You'll see I asked for a sub because I was pretty gassed. We was bullshitting. I'm like, oh, man, come get me. <laughs> and I was done for the night pretty much. I ain't went back in the game after that. That was my night. And it got kind of crazy after that. They started knocking out threes left and right. 
I'm talking about past, past, past three. <laughs> it didn't stop, bro. It did not stop. They're just getting started. Pass, drive, pass, three. <laughs> this is all back to back, bro. Coming now, pass, 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 three. <laughs> Bro, they're playing like the most basic of basketball. They're not doing nothing special. Coming down, Rocha, whatever his name is, pass. One, two dribbles, pass back, three. This is back to back, bro. This is how the game went for us. And that's the end of the game, man. We got outplayed. We got outplayed. We got out hustled. They were more physical than us. They wanted it more than us. I mean, they, they're they a better team. They're a better team than us. They got a better roster. The budget is bigger. You know, they got more experience. They just was the better team, and they showed it. And this was a good team that we can learn from. And if I was, a, if I was my teammates, I would be watching this game because this was a good team that we could learn from. They played European basketball at a high level. I don't even feel bad about this loss. It's going to be tough to win against these good teams without Frank. Bottom line, we can say we don't need Frank. That's a lie. Frank, <laughs> Frank Mason is amazing. I mean, he's not... He, I mean, we can win without him, but having Frank Mason is good for any team. So it's going to be difficult. And when we don't have Frank, we have to do all the other little things Great. We have to rebound the ball. We have to pass the ball. We have to sprint and transition. We have to do all the little things. And we didn't do that. And they did that extremely well. So, congratulations to Bogan Bress. I'm going back to work. I'm going back to work Monday. I got to get better. You know, I feel like I can pick up some of the slack where Frank left off at. So, but it's going to have to be a collective effort. That's it for me. All right. It's the next day. Walking around the city. Just getting some inspiration. Thinking. Looking over things. Trying to see. You no. Know, <laughs> what I really want to do in life. I do these on Sundays. Kind of like a reflection of myself. Um, I decided to walk around because I needed some fresh air. It gets dark pretty early out here, so just kind of walking around, man, just trying to see what I can get into, taking some pictures, taking some video. But, um, yeah, man, this is actually before I edit the, the breakdown of the game. So I'm going to actually break down the game tonight when I get back home. But... This will be after the breakdown, so this is the end of the vlog, man. We got blasted, but it is what it is. It's basketball. Leave a comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Remember, every day make them pay so that one day you can live a truth life. I'm out.